Well, Willie Rennie has managed to make some headlines, which is astonishing. Um, of course, it's to do with uh, knocking the current electoral system only because it looks as if the Lib Dems will finally come a cropper because of it. Um, and yet that might not be the most significant thing about his complaints. Uh, Willie Rennie has now a batch of ideas that he wants to enact um, or have discussed to modernise Holyrood. And some of them actually are perfectly all right. Uh, the idea of having single transferable vote. I would back it. Um, and yet, of course, the timing just howls of hypocrisy. Uh, just at the point where he accuses um, Alex Salmon's Alba party of potentially gaming the system, um, all the unionist parties will doubtless be having some kind of pact to make sure they have any uh, votes on the list system at all. And of course, it was their party was one of the unionist parties that agreed the devolution settlement that gave Holyrood this system. And actually, until 2016, the Scottish Parliament itself was unable to change any aspect of voting behaviour or the voting system. So, you know, it is extraordinary uh, to kind of hear suddenly all these difficulties that have just never been raised before. There's one really important point about all of this. Willie Rennie's suggestions, if they meet with uh, the approval of most MSPs and get some backing from the public, could actually happen in his lifetime in Scotland. Could they ever happen in Westminster in a month of Sundays? And that actually is drawing attention, strangely enough, to the modernisation Scotland has undergone in complete contrast to the archaic systems that still get used in Westminster and indeed south of the border. This is quite extraordinary. They're still using first past the post for local elections. And that means that uh, there are actually seats in England, Council and Westminster that haven't changed hands since the time of Queen Victoria. Now, that's kind of normal south of the border. And yet the Lib Dems, if Willie Rennie really wants to talk about who the national leader is any day soon, the Lib Dems in Westminster can do nothing about that because it will not ever be in the interests of one of the two big parties there, if elected, to ever change the system that got them there. So the only place that you could actually even start a discussion about having single transferable vote is in the Scottish Parliament. And just while we're at it, uh, to give Jack McConnell his due, and let me get all my potentially controversial stuff out in one go here, Jack McConnell introduced the single transferable vote for local elections. And in doing so, in Scotland, he knew he was giving up Labour Party fiefdoms forever in the interests of some kind of democracy getting through. Now, uh, that actually is also a great compliment to Scottish politics. When it's only one party that has a vision of a different future, that's a narrower thing than the fact that the Labour Party has actually done stuff in Scotland it could never do in England. And that's personal care as well, which Henry McLeish introduced. So I know where we are at the moment is one where nobody's going to really be listening to Willie Rennie and that kind of is something he should be used to. Um, and quite rightly, really, given the sort of marginal nature of unionist politics and the fact that most of us, certainly independent supporters, are just far, far beyond little fixes. We now want the big fix that independents can give. And after that, we can cut the ties to archaic systems altogether. But the fact that he could even be entertained and could even have a chance, actually, to change voting systems in Scotland tells you everything you need to know about why most of us favour what's been produced in Holyrood, want more of it and can only see a democratic modern country coming out of more powers for Holyrood in the shape of independence. So let's have a wee thought on that, Willie.